Uh, yeah. Yeah, nothing's ever gonna beat this filter. For real. Uh, uh, those weird Instagram plastic surgery faces got nothing on floating hearts from photo booth. Oh, I mean it. Anyways, um, I'm here because I discovered something this morning, or rediscovered. I had forgot, well, when I was in middle school, I had weak hands, for real, like, I couldn't hold a pencil well. I went to occupational therapy and everything, but, um, I still really wanted to keep a diary, because all the other girls did, and it seemed like it would be important for when I got older. Like, movies kept telling me that women's hearts were their diaries, but my fingers were weak, so... I would record myself on photo booth once a week talking about my day, my really interesting day. The weird thing is I started and ended every video with, I miss you guys, <laughs> like I was talking to a studio audience or a YouTube channel, but I would never be brave enough for YouTube. I had a razor flip phone with Lisa Frank stickers. And my best friend had a sidekick with games. I was so fucking jealous. Wow, I really miss middle school. I know. Unpopular opinion. But I fucking love middle school. 2009 was my prime. Back then, no one was dead. I mean, none of our parents were dead. And I would put a shit ton of eyeliner on my waterline. I had great friends. I still have really great friends. Not that I've seen them in... Yeah, middle school was great. My first boyfriend asked me out by filling his cello case full of candy on Valentine's Day. And then this other boy told me I would be hot if I didn't have such weird arms. So I wore a cardigan for seven years. But the first memory is really great. My dad dropped me off at um, the eighth grade graduation dance and put his hands on the window and made funny faces at me to piss me off. It was a joke, but I think it started my rebellion against him because then in high school, I dated his friend's son who was in college and who treated me like shit. And my dad had written his college recommendation letter a couple years before. So then I started wearing dark, topped winged eyeliner. Uh, high school wasn't very interesting. It wasn't good or bad. I had great friends, though. I still do. They got me through. My, my, when my dad was maddest at me was uh, when I snuck off to Pittsburgh to see that boy in his sweaty dorm. And he made me pay for whatever I drank and I had to go to Ikea with his roommate. And when I talked about the fact that my dad was dying, he said he didn't want to dwell on negativity. This was when I was really into red lipstick that would stick on my lips like glue. Truly, I would tear my skin off to get it off. So maybe, yeah, not the greatest taste. I think he might be the meanest and richest person I've ever met. And I know he calls me crazy. And for some reason, I still really care about that. I texted my dad from the Megabus home and he told me he loved me and that our Wi-Fi was down. And I told him I was sad and he invited my friends over to greet me when I got back and it made me feel better because I have really good friends. I wish I hadn't spent the next four years still caring about him, but I did. The last thing I ever said to him before I blocked him was that I had lied about being a virgin and he never said a word, not even at the memorial. And he never even thanked me for having a kind dad that wrote his fucking 
college recommendation letter. But my friends were there, and they loved me, and I loved them. And afterwards, we got a cocktail, and nobody shamed me about anything. Shit. Where did 2009 go? I think, uh, I don't know. I think that this time right now has taught me that I still really care about every little thing that's ever been said to me. I wish I could go back and listen to every conversation I ever had in middle school and understand more about the person I am now because, because it keeps boiling up. And every person that ever said a word to me still matters. Because the truth is, I still deeply care. And I haven't seen my friends in a year. And they've saved my life more times than I can count. And I wish, I wish I could get that nine hour mega bus ride back and spend it with my friends because I really miss you guys. I miss you all so much. Essential. Why not? So yeah.